Hello, my beautiful people. Um, it is very dark, very gloomy today, so I'm very happy. It's the perfect day to read. I'm about to make some coffee. I'm about to start a new book today, so I figured let's do another reading vlog. I am going to be starting Wildfire today, which is the second book in the Maple Hills. Maple Hills. Why can I not say that? It is the second book in the Maple Hills series. So it is the book after Icebreaker. I read Icebreaker last month and it was okay. Like I enjoyed it and it was fun, but there were some things that I didn't love about it, but I liked it enough to read the second book. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I know there's like different characters and a different setting and all of that. So I'm excited to get into Wildfire today. I won't be doing any spoilers. I will just be reading the book. Y'all are just gonna be hanging out with me for the next few days while I read and I'll be sharing my thoughts along the way. I know it is so dark right now. Sorry for the lighting. Um, I just have no light in our house right now. Like I said, it's just the gloomiest day today and I'm trying to soak in every second. I just love weather like this so much. Today is also Friday the 13th. I'm just in such a good mood today. <laughs> It's gloomy, it's Friday the 13th, I'm about to start a new book, I'm about to make some coffee. There's truly just nothing, nothing better than that. So I hope y'all enjoy watching this video. Thank you for being here, by the way. Uh, my name is Crystal, if this is your first video that you're watching. So I hope y'all enjoy. I'm gonna make some coffee. Let's get to reading. I just finished eating some lunch. So I had to take a little bit of break from reading. I'm only on page chapter four, page 33. I can already tell that I like this book more than I like Icebreaker already. I mean, obviously I just started, but so far the vibe of this and the characters and the writing, I don't know. I just, I feel like this one just got right into the story and I really loved that. And I feel like Icebreaker just had a lot of fluff in it. But so far this book is about Aurora and Russ. I actually thought that this book was about Henry. Like I thought that Henry was the main character in this book. He is one of the side characters in Icebreaker and I loved his character. Someone told me that Wildfire was, was about Henry, but it is not. <laughs> So um, I was like a little bit surprised when I started reading it, but Russ is one of the characters from Icebreaker. He's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little character. I had actually forgotten that he was in Icebreaker and I had to go and look up some spoiler free videos on TikTok to figure out who the heck Russ was and if he was in Icebreaker. And I do remember his character after watching some TikToks. And Aurora, she is an Icebreaker as well, but she's not even like really a character she's just mentioned in passing yeah this book is about them too and so far aurora and russ end up meeting at a party you can tell there's like sexual tension there like the angst is building which i love <laughs> i think i just liked the way that aurora and russ were introduced in this book better than i liked the way that Nate and Stassi were introduced in Icebreaker. I think that's what I like more about this book so far. I just like the vibe of their relationship a bit better already. Their banter is really good. I, and in Icebreaker, I loved Nate, but I was not a big fan of Stassi. Like there were some things that I liked about her, but there was also some things that really annoyed me about her. And so far I really like Aurora and I really love Russ, but Russ is on the hockey team. And so a lot of the other side characters that were in Icebreaker are also in this book, which I really like because I feel like Icebreaker did a really good job of creating this like found family and all of their friends just felt like family. And it's the same type of vibe in this book as well, which I really like. So I'm gonna sit here and read a little bit more. Um, Jacob just went to ACL for the night. So I have the night to myself. So I'm gonna read a bit more. And then tonight I'm probably just gonna watch like all of my paranormal shows because it's Friday the 13th. It's October, so tis the season. <laughs> so I'm gonna read a little bit. And then once it starts getting dark, I'm gonna start watching my paranormal shows. This 
book is so funny. That's like another thing I love about it. I've been constantly laughing and smiling the whole time. I just love the banter and the wittiness. I can already tell you I love Russ and Aurora. Okay, y'all, I'm on chapter eight, page like, what is this, 77? I love this book so much. All right, I've just been having so much fun reading this. But I know I mentioned earlier that Aurora and Russ end up meeting at a party and um, he plays hockey. So he lives in this house with all these hockey guys. And so Aurora goes to this party her and Russ end up hitting it off and they end up hooking up that night. And this is not a spoiler. All of this is on the back of the book, so not a spoiler at all. They hook up, they hit it off, and then something really awkward like happens between them and they go their separate ways, kind of like they just have a one night stand, pretty much. So both of them are leaving the following day, this night after they hook up, they have this night together. The following day, they both get up and they're supposed to head out to be camp counselors at a summer camp. But what neither of them know is that they are gonna be camp counselors at the same summer camp. <laughs> but I just got to the part where they both arrive at the summer camp and they end up seeing each other and they're both like, what are you doing here? Like super awkward. <laughs> I'm excited to see where this goes. But y'all, I'm really, 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 really enjoying this book. I also have noticed, I mean, I'm only 75 pages in, but so far I've noticed like with the writing, there's not a lot of like fluff or filler. There's a lot of side banter, but it's not too much to where it takes over the main plot of the story. There's not like a lot of side stuff going on to where I'm like, okay, let's get back to the main story here. I feel like in Icebreaker, it was that way for me where I was like, okay, th there's just too much like fluff in between the main story. I don't think I'll get a lot of reading in tomorrow because we're going to San Antonio for my mom's birthday. So probably won't get a lot of reading in tomorrow, but for sure Sunday. So I will talk to y'all a little bit and I'll give y'all an update once I'm a little bit further in. I am currently at my mom's. We've been here since yesterday. Today is Sunday. We spent all day yesterday here celebrating her birthday. So I didn't get to read at all, but we are going home in a little bit. So, um, I'm gonna read a lot this evening. We are going through some of her, um, my mom has an Etsy shop where she makes book sleeves and they're the cutest things ever. Let me show you. This is the one that I have. And so your book just like slides in here and it's not only cute, but it protects your book too. So she makes them, she has an Etsy shop. I will link her Etsy shop down in the description below if y'all are interested in one, but we are basically looking through a lot of different like new prints that she's gonna be coming out with. So I'm gonna turn y'all around so I can show you. Hi mom. Hi. <laughs> so these are the ones that she currently has. She has a lot of Harry Potter ones. Look at how cute, the little mini Harry Potters. And then these are some other prints that she's gonna be coming out with very soon. So some florally type of ones. She's gonna have some house specific Harry Potter ones, which I'm a Ravenclaw, so I love this one. But she'll have each of the houses. And then she's also gonna make these really cute prints with like little bees. Look how cute. So I like this one too. That one's really pretty. I love her book sleeves. She has all different sizes, Kindle sizes, ones for paperback and then some that fit hardbacks as well. So yeah, if y'all want some cute book sleeves, I will link her Etsy shop down below in the description. Hello, hello. We are back home. I just had to like unpack, take a shower, eat dinner, all the things. It is now currently like around five o'clock. I'm about to dive back into wildfire. Jacob is playing Call of Duty right now, so. You might hear him yelling, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm on chapter 11, page 107. I think the last time I updated, they had just gotten to the summer camp and they like saw each other and they were like, uh, why are you here? <laughs> so now they've had like, you know, some interactions and I'm excited to see where this story goes. But I will say that I love the setting of this. It's um, set at a summer camp. So I really like the vibe. The only thing is I'm not really, much in a summer mood because it is the middle of October. And so I'm like 
in fall mode right now, but I really wanted to read this and get this review up for you guys since this book just came out. But I'm very confused why this book came out in the fall time because this was released like I think last week or something. Um, so I'm not really sure why this had a fall release because this is absolutely a summertime book. I don't know. I don't know anything about like publishing and release dates and all that that stuff. I do think this would have been a really good summertime release. Nonetheless, even though I am not in the summer mood, I, this book has still been very fun for me to read and I'm having a really good time reading it. Anyway, I'm gonna dive back in. I'll keep y'all updated. page 147. Uh, I would say the last like 40 or so pages, I haven't loved them. Like the last 40 or so pages have really just been them at the summer camp. And so they're like doing summer camp activities. And that's really all I've been doing. There really hasn't been much else going on aside from like the summer camp activities with the kids and stuff. And I don't know, it's just like a little bit boring. <laughs> I need some conflict. I need some depth. I need like something else going on besides like the very like high level type of stuff. I don't mind it like here and there in little pockets, but this has been like 40 pages of literally just them like doing random activities at the summer camp. And I'm like, okay, can we move on to the actual like main plot of the story? Because I understand that their little bits of the summer camp activities are supposed to be in here to build the story, of course, and to like add to the plot but when it's just 40 pages of straight all they're doing is summer camp activities I'm like okay I need to get back to like the main story and I don't know I feel like the first 100 pages there was a lot of that there was conflict there was like banter there was tension there was angst I don't know that's where I'm at I'm gonna continue reading hopefully hopefully some things pick up again hi y'all it's the next day it is currently monday i got to page about 200 yesterday so i'm about to start reading some more right now to be honest i like nothing has really happened yet still i don't know i'm like a little bit bored or like a lot bit bored i'm really sad because the first 100 pages of this book were so good and I was like oh this is gonna be such a good book I'm I'm gonna like fly through this I'm gonna love every second of it nothing is still really happening I mean all the little like camp activities that I was talking about in the last clip they've pretty much that has kind of wrapped up a little bit but now it's moved on to Russ and Aurora's like a lot more of their like personal problems like trauma that they've had with their family and just drama that's going on with Aurora and her dad and her mom and drama that's going on with Russ and his dad. Just like family problems, family issues. That's really all that's like going on right now. And <laughs> this may sound so mean, but like, I just don't really care very much. <laughs> I think it's good that Hannah Grace, the author, is trying to give the characters depth and give them um, like real life problems and real life issues, which I do appreciate, but at the same time, like it needs to move on, you know? I feel like I can only read about that for so long before I just like want to get back to the main story. The relationship between Russ and Aurora is so weird now. Like they hooked up on the first night they met and now they're like best friends. And that's just weird to me. Like it's just, um, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I can't imagine being like best friends with someone that I've hooked up with. It's just really, it feels just like unrealistic. I don't know if that's the right word. It just feels like, like I don't believe it. Like I don't really believe the writing right now. It's just, it's hard to explain, but um, I'm just not really connecting with their story or their characters anymore. Very interesting to me how your opinion can change from like the start of a book to the middle to the end. That's what I love about these reading vlogs is like you guys get to see my real in the moment reactions as I'm reading a book and you kind of see my progress as I'm reading and my feelings as I'm reading. So I'm going to read a little bit more now and I will keep y'all updated. But at this point, page around page 200 ish. I'm just like, can we get back to the how it was in the beginning of the book? Like I want that I want the angst. 
I want the drama. I want the like sexy banter, like that kind of thing. Cause right now it is very, it's very cute and it's very wholesome. I don't want cute and wholesome. <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading. I'll keep y'all updated. <laughs> because it started getting so hot i was like mm, this is not the vibe i'm on page 290 right now at this point i just kind of want this book to be done <laughs> just so sad because oh, i love the beginning so much it's so crazy how at the beginning of the book i was like i love how there's not a lot of fluff and there's like like these little subplots going on but there's not it's not too much and it's not overtaking the main story well now it is where it's all these little subplot like sub stories going on and they're just stories that I don't care about. <laughs> I feel like the only time that I enjoy this book is during the spicy scenes because the spice is pretty good. I feel like all the other scenes that I'm reading aside from the spice is basically them just playing basketball or like doing camp activities or playing their camp games and I'm just like I don't care. <laughs> okay and then there's this one thing that is really bothering me and this might just be me but when aurora and russ <laughs> are being intimate he calls her sweetheart and i'm just like it makes me cringe i don't even know how to explain it let me find a scene hold on i position myself behind her my legs over hers guiding myself between her parted thighs there is no better feeling than this none you're the best feeling in the world sweetheart and he says it constantly over and over he calls her sweetheart that's it sweetheart show me how beautiful <laughs> When I think of the word sweetheart, I think of like a little girl. Anyway, I'm on page 290. I like my main goal is to finish this book today. I'm gonna say hi. Say hi. I'm going to sleep. Well, I'm gonna do my review while you're right here. Okay, y'all. I finished Wildfire. I'm giving this book three stars. <laughs> this book started out like a five star for me. Like I had that five star feeling the first like hundred pages, and then it just like. Like just took a little bit of a nose dive. It wasn't like a bad book by any means, but it was just very middle of the line, just mediocre. The spicy scenes were good, but there was just like that little that little thing where he just like calls her sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> just like irks me. I don't know. It just made me cringe. It's so weird because the beginning of this book, I loved the dynamic and I loved the like the angst and I don't know. I just really loved the relationship between Russ and Aurora. And then I don't know. It feels like as I kept reading, their characters weren't the same characters from the beginning of the book. It's weird. Like I feel like I was reading about two different characters. I didn't like dislike them at all, but I just feel like they were different and they had like a little bit of edge to them at the beginning of the book. And then they just became very like, meh. There were some parts that I really did enjoy, but for the most part, I feel like there was too many subplots and sub stories going on that I really just didn't care about. Like I wanted more depth and more conflict and more going on with the main plot, the main storyline, like the relationship between Aurora and Russ. I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> and I feel like their relationship was just very high level. Like there really wasn't much to it. And the ending was just sort of mediocre nothing I don't know like it's very forgettable I think that's a really good way to put it it's very forgettable type of story but overall I thought this was a cutesy just like fluffy type of rom-com with 
some splashes of spice in it. And I would probably recommend it to someone who just wants a very easy, like fluffy, lighthearted rom-com, something to maybe um, read as a palette cleanser in between more like deeper books, I guess you could say. It is very funny. I did find myself laughing a lot. The banter is really good. Um, and like I said, the spicy scenes are good as well. To me, like that's another thing about the spice. The spicy scenes were good, but they don't match the rest of the book. Like <laughs> most of this book is very like PG and then the spicy scenes are like rated R. It's just kind of funny because it just doesn't match. They don't match. That is my review of Wildfire, three stars. Icebreaker was like a 3.75 for me, so. They're not my favorite books ever, but they do have really fun settings and really fun characters. And um, like I said, the banter is really good. And I did find myself laughing and smiling a lot throughout both of the books. So I hope this helped you decide if you want to read this book or not. But if you did read Icebreaker, I do feel like you should read this one because all of the characters are the same. So if you enjoyed the characters in Icebreaker, you'll enjoy like seeing them again in this book. If you have read this, I would love to know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you enjoyed watching and hanging out with me for the last few days, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I will also put all of my social media handles down here on the screen. So I would love to have y'all follow along over there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.